Assalamu alaikum everybody, Sanabel back in with another YouTube video. Today's YouTube video guys, I will be going over a day trading strategy. Now, I, this, this doesn't mean, let me just reiterate this before we get started, that I'm switching my trading strategy, okay? I'm not switching my trading strategy, I'm just going to go over a trading strategy, okay? That can help you guys become profitable and can definitely help you guys pros, prop from challenges, okay? So, <clears throat> if you like this sort of content, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Also guys, Join the free Discord, guys. There's a one-month free trial down below. I mean, people really like the Discord. Like I said before, people are making money following my signals. I'm up 5% this week, mashallah say, and I'm not going to trade any single other day. So I'm up 5% for this week alone, mashallah say. I saw a guy make over $400. I saw a guy make over $120 trading. I mean, if you look at this comment over here, this woman or guy, whatever. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I don't want to assume gender receiver and get canceled for it. But... Really needed this reminder. Join the Discord and it's been really helpful. Thank you. Right? Now think, look guys, this person hasn't paid for my Discord. All right? They're on the one month free trial. I can guarantee, I haven't made a single dollar from my Discord. Right? Everybody is on the one month free trial period. I haven't made a single dollar from it. So, and I'm still giving them out free content. I'm still helping them. I'm still answering the questions. Still hopping on Zoom. Still giving them signals. Like live trading with them. All that. All right? So just want you guys to know that, you know, take advantage of the opportunity, guys. Free one month trial down below. And... Let's get into this video. So what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to trade NAS 100. This is a very, very important. You are only trading this one pair. I don't care, right? You're not using this on Forex. You're not using this on gold. You're not using this on any other thing. You are just trading this on NAS 100. And so we are going to go to some random point in time, all right? Now, when does the market open? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go all the way back probably to a point. Well, I haven't even marked it out. So this is the 28th. I just, yeah, okay, cool. So I'm just going to go like this. And we're just going to keep on scrolling until we meet a random point in day. And then that day is when we're going to start trading. Okay, cool. So September, okay, uh, this day. <laughs> I don't even know if the market was open this day. So I don't know if I should be trade. Screw it, we're trading anyways. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to when the market opens. Now, this is a U.S. indice, okay? When do the U.S. indices open? 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so when is 9.30? Okay, 9.30 is right over here. Cool. So from 9.30 to 9.45, you are just going to mark out the highs and the lows, okay? You're just going to mark out the range. So what's the high? The high is right over here, right? When does 9.45 happen? Right over here. Cool. So now once you've marked out the highs and lows, so for the first 15 minutes, guys, you're doing nothing. You're just sitting on your hands and you're waiting for the market to make the highest point and the lowest point within the first 15 minutes, okay? Now, after that, you are going to wait for a break in either direction. So if it breaks to the upside, you're taking a long. If it breaks to the downside, you're taking a short. Very, very simple strategy, guys. Okay. Now, your stop loss and take profit. Here's what's going to end up happening. So once this has happened, you're just going to set a limit order. Again, here's what's going to end up happening, guys. Your stop loss is going to be 15 pips. Okay. Right over here. And your take profit is going to be varying. So your ultimate take profit, guys, is going to be a 1 to 2.5 risk to over ratio over here. Now, as you can tell, we're going to get stopped out. But to manage this strategy, guys, you're going to use a completely different risk management approach than I use in any of my other strategies. So you set the 15 pip take profit, okay? Now, at 15 pips, right, you are going to move your stop loss to break even, okay? At 20 pips, you're going to move your stop loss, once it's in profit 20 pips, you're going to move your stop loss to 10 pips in profit. And at 30 pips, you're going to move your stop loss to 20 pips in profit. At 35 pips, you're going to move your stop loss to 30 pips in profit. And then 38 pips is going to be your final take profit. Okay. At a 1 to 2.5 risk to board ratio. Okay. So you're going to be trailing your stop loss. And if you can tell over here, we hit 20 pips, right? So from 20 pips, we're going to move our stop loss in profit 10 pips. And then it takes us out. So instead of taking a loss, we actually gain two thirds of a percent on our account for this trade. Now, you guys might be wondering, why is that? Why are we trading like this? Okay. The reason for this is because we're trading indices. Indices are very momentum-based. Okay. As you can tell, like, look at this, right? Breaks this, bam, strong momentum. Just, it's a momentum play. Okay. It's always going to be, indices are always going to be a momentum, right? That's all that matters. The volume kicks in, momentum kicks in, guys, at the start of the market. So, we're waiting for that volume to die down a little bit, give some direction, as you can tell. Right, very in very strong bearish direction or in very strong bearish momentum, we're thinking is going to continue. But if it's going to continue, it's going to continue strongly, like it did in this candle, like it did right over here when it went down, like it did in this candle, right? 
So we're going to trail our stop loss. And if it starts pulling back on us, we're out of the market. Because if it starts pulling back, then stuff like this happens, right? Then you get into chop, you get into consolidation. So we want to be out of the market before that ends up happening. Okay, we just want strong momentum in our favor. That's what that's how you're going to trade the strategy. So again, first strategy, guys, you're up. Well, and this is Monday, so we're just doing the entire week. Okay, so I'll just text out this entire week for you guys. So that trade went 20 pips in profit, right? So that means that we moved our stop loss to 10 pips before it flipped on us. Okay, cool. Point six seven. Now I didn't come up with this strategy. I don't even know who did, but the person who introduced me to the strategy, I forgot his name. So I will link it down below and you guys can watch the original video if you want to. Now, one of the things that I added to the strategy that he didn't is moving our stop loss to break even at 15 pips. He does not move a stop loss to break even just to let you guys know, he does not do that. Okay. So he will leave it open even at 20 pips. And I think, I don't know if it's going to be beneficial or not to do that. So we're going to have to test it out. Right. So now let's go to Tuesday. So Tuesday we have a 15 pip stop loss. So in this scenario, we'll follow the original rules for testing, guys, because I did haven't tested if moving your stop loss to break even is profitable or not over the long run or more profitable in the long run or not, right? So 15 pips is roughly over here, okay? And what do we get? Do we get 20 pips? We do not get 20 pips until here. And then we go, do we get 30 pips? We do get 30 pips, okay? So again, as you can tell, right, this is our ultimate take profit at 38 pips. Our ultimate take profit is 38 pips. Does it hit 38 pips? No. What does it hit? What's the maximum point it hits? 30 pips. But if you follow all the risk management rules, right? When it hits 30 pips, you move your stop plus to 20 pips in profit. Okay. So 20 pips in profit is going to yield you roughly a one to one third risk to a ratio. Okay. So going back to our calculator, that's what we're going to add. One to one third. So for the week now, between Monday and Tuesday, we are up 2%. Okay. And again, guys, this is just based on momentum. As you can tell, Strong bullish momentum, 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 momentum. And guess what? The momentum starts to fade. When the momentum starts to fade, guys, when the momentum starts to fade, you don't want to be in the market. That's why we're trailing our stop loss. As you can tell, we trail our stop loss, the momentum is pushing in our favor, we're making more money. And we're trailing our stop loss more in profit. And then it starts to chop around, and we get took out. And what do you see in the happening? It just reverses on us. Okay? That's why we're trailing our stop loss. I never trail my stop loss, guys. I never do that. This is a completely new thing, okay, for me. So I just want to let you guys know that. Now, again, do the same exact thing over here. Okay, cool. So this is our low. Again, guys, 930 to 945. That is all we're doing. Okay, 930 to 945. Now, where do we break it? Right over here. Stop loss over here. What's going to be your stop loss? 15 pips. Okay, 15 pips roughly. Do we hit 38 pips? No, we hit 35 pips. So at 35 pips, guys, what are we going to do? We're going to move our stop loss 30 pips in profit. And again, why do we do that? It's a momentum play. As soon as momentum starts fading, guys, what ends up happening? We reverse, we hit our stop loss. So you want to take your profits when you can. Again, strong momentum starts fading, bam, reverses. So we'd be 30 pips in profit. 30 pips in profit is a one to two risk to ratio. So we're up 2%. So just treating this strategy alone, guys, on three days, you made 4%. Okay, now I'm not going to lie to you. This is not a 100% win rate strategy. I did not choose this week on purpose. As you can tell, I literally closed my eyes and I was just scrolling a little randomly. But, you know, this, this trade, this strategy will have losses. I just want you guys to know that it will have losses. It is not going to be 100%, although it might seem like it right now. <laughs> okay, so 930 to 945. Cool, more cardio highs and lows. Enter right over here. Cool, 15 pip stop loss. Right over here. Cool, and now we're just seeing what ends up happening. Okay, so this price goes all the way down before reversing on us. So it actually does end up hitting our four take profit of a one to one, 2.5 risk to reversion. And again, guys, if you notice every single time, once it takes us out, it starts consolidating and starts reversing. So honestly, one of the things that you couldn't look at testing is that if it takes you out over here, you or even if, it, if you're in a trade and you win that trade, if it starts reversing on you, it might be worth it to just enter on the flip side, right? Because now if you enter on the flip side, that's, another 2.5 risk to our ratio. So you could have banked five pips, uh, five R, 5%, trading the opposite side as well. And if you'll notice, a lot of the opposite side has followed through as well. So again, guys, I don't know if this strategy is going to work or not like that, but that's just something I've noticed right now. And again, guys, working out the highs and lows from 9.30 to 9.45, right over here. Cool. When do we break? Right over here. 15 pips stop loss. Ooh, we might hit stop loss. No, we were close. We were very close to hitting stop loss, but we did not. Come on. Okay, it doesn't matter to me, right? We, we don't we don't actually hit stop loss. Okay, let's see how far do we get along. Oh, that is not what I'm supposed to do. 
So we hit roughly 30, 30 pips. So at 30, 30 pips, guys, our stop loss would still be at 20 pips in profit. So, and then it reverses on us and takes us out at 20 pips in profit. So 20 pips is roughly 1.33. So again, guys, you made 7.8% in one week of trading. Okay, so it just so happened, guys, that all of these, all of these trades were um, winners. Don't expect that to happen all the time. Don't expect that to happen <laughs> at any time, actually. None of the strategies you will trade will have a 100% win rate. Okay, I just want you to know. No strategy will have a 100% win rate. This strategy, the original guy said it runs at roughly a 55% win rate. So that is something to note. So about half the time you will be losing. Just something to tell you guys. So yeah, but it is still a great strategy because it's a 55% win rate on a 1 to 2.5 risk to reward ratio. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, guys. That's a fantastic strategy. That's a fantastic risk to reward ratio, fantastic win rate. So again, guys, and the best part about this, guys, it's mechanical, right? You're trading one pair. You're trading one time frame. You're just waiting for the highs and lows to be made. And you're trading the same risk to reward ratio, the same stop loss, the same take profit every single time. You do not have to think about this. You don't have to do anything. It's just so simple, so mechanical, guys. And I guarantee you, if you trade this proper, if you trade this consistently, you stay disciplined with the strategy, you follow the exits and entries, and you manage your risk properly, you will pass your challenges. I mean, you made 7.8% just in one month, uh, one week, sorry. 7.8% in one week, dude. That's crazy. I mean, 0.2% more, and you pass a phase one of a profit challenge. So yeah, this is definitely a profitable strategy, guys. I do recommend you guys look into it. Test it more before you trade it, guys. Okay, I don't recommend anybody just take any strategy that I showcase and start testing it for themselves or trading it for themselves with a live money. Start a paper account, back test the strategy, and then start trading it in real life. Okay, with that being said, guys, that's it for this video. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and peace out.